<laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Righteous Nikki and welcome to another Overmind game. Uh, this time we're going to be watching and commentating a game of me playing Tyrande. And I went a DPS build, if I remember correctly. Now, I actually don't remember how exactly we end up, ended up with me playing Tyrande. I think I suggested to Karazim that it's going to be pretty OP if he goes DPS Karazim and I go to run. Ah no, uh, let's see how the draft is going to go. Yeah, I'm saying something to Karazim, but Karazim is going down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Sky Tempo here. I wouldn't say the trainer or go down are pretty good for Sky Tempo. Uh, I do like Greyman though. He has a lot of ground to maneuver and pick up some kills. Uh, they got Brightwing. Brightwing is pretty solid on Sky Main because not Sky Main, Sky Tempo and Grey Main. All right. <laughs> so Brightwing is pretty good on this map because he has a lot of global, uh, global presence and generally Polymorph is pretty good, especially versus Grey Main if he decides to engage. Now our team actually decided to ban the Haka here. That's a pretty solid ban. Uh, usually on global maps like that, the hacker is pretty solid because he can soak a lot of the lanes until the objective uh, is contested. So that's a that's a pretty solid thing to have. Um, am I sure I played Trande? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken the game, but that's how I named the game file. Interesting. All right. Um, so. They banned Johanna, uh, I don't know, I guess they were a bit of scared of Johanna, I don't see why particularly they would ban her, maybe because they have two auto-attackers with Karazim and Raynor. Yeah, that makes sense because Karazim is going probably, uh, their Karazim, an auto-attack build, because they already have a Brightwing support. So they want to ban a tank that potentially can counter heavy attack speed, so that makes perfect sense. Now, Muradin is actually a, a pretty decent tank uh, versus attack speed heroes. Also provides some pretty nice TCC. And we got Oreo. Um we got Oreo here as a main support, which is going to be nice if Greyman decides to go too deep or more than she can put a nice little shield on on them. So my logic here for Trandi was actually I think that I saw Varian. And I think to myself, Varian needs to get bursted. And Varian is going to be actually their main tank. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure why I picked Randy here to be honest, guys. Because I thought that maybe if I went Tassadar, we wouldn't have enough damage. And I thought that uh, and I thought that someone that has auto attacks and some healing would be perfect in this situation. So that's why I went Tyrande. So if you if you have watched my older videos with Tyrande, you probably know how I already go on auto attack build. Uh, I started off with level one season marksman. Now Tyrande's auto attack damage isn't that high to be honest, but it gets significant significantly significantly. I can't pronounce it. Much better <laughs> later in the game. Uh, but the main reason why Trandy DPS is good is because you have the mark. And the mark generally allows you to accelerate your auto attack damage to the target up to a very nice point. And the mark also helps your other allies to get this target that you're trying to get. So. General Trandy is always useful. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Actually, uh, not always. I would suggest that you don't pick Trandy versus double tank, in my opinion. While you might try to focus one of the tanks, the other tanks so that is going to uh, to be blocking. So yeah. So I'm now actually getting uh, zone out pretty hard versus uh, just two versus one here. Our team reacted there and started chasing Rainer and Brightwing. So we have the tempos up. I'm generally staying here soaking the lane because I want to get some of those season marksman stacks. Uh, though it's uh, happening pretty slow, still I want to be getting those. Kitty. 
Um, and we, we're getting some nice CC. We have some pretty nice combo CC with Oriol, with Muradin as well. So there's a lot of combo potential with Randy. Now, I actually missed my stun there. I'm gonna die. Yep. So that was pretty unfortunate. Uh, more than I, I pinked, I pinked to more, pinked, I pinked to more than there because I was a bit frustrated that he didn't react. But honestly, when I'm watching it now, I can't really blame him because uh, capturing the point is more valuable than fighting. So it is I who decided to go very aggressive as a Tyrande, and I shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, so go down, died there. Hmm, more than is contesting Rainer pretty well. Uh, the mod. By the way, I've been playing from recently, from maybe the past week. I have noticed that a lot of the Muradins go for this uh, talent. I don't know how it's called, but basically it increases your attack speed by 25%. And every third attack you mini stun the target. Now, I don't know how strong this is, but if you're a squishy target, this attack speed of Muradin really... Uh, starts to chop off your HP quite fast. And now we're going to combo some CC there. Managed to land the mark. Uh, but yeah, especially with Liming coming here, you just don't have enough to contest three versus two. Uh, I'm going to send the stun there. Stun Liming, but I don't know why Muradin turned there, by the way. I guess he was trying to dodge the Brightwing thingy there, but yeah, I did my best to save him there. So I'm still sitting here, soaking the lane as much as I can. Two versus one really sucks as a trend, especially. I mean, if it, if it was one versus one, that maybe I could have done a bit better, but yeah. And the bad thing is that as a trend, I don't have good wave clear. My wave clear is a bit better than a Nova, so that's not that good. I mean, I can land a stun there, but that's going to be it to clear the waves. Now I'm pinging my team here. Uh, to help me out, I'm gonna die here miserably. Uh, I actually gonna get pissed now, <laughs> and actually chat to my team. Uh, some valuable words here. <laughs> I mean, I've been really outnumbered there two versus one in the entire game as a trend, and that really sucks. Um, so yeah, I uh, know. I think I had a reason to be frustrated there. Um, I'm going to disable the chat again. <laughs> I generally try to not talk as much as I can so I don't get uh, uh, triggered sometimes and say something bad. Now I'm going to have a bad stun here on Raynor. Very bad stun, actually I'm in a very bad position. Managed to finish him actually, thankfully. Especially with Godan interfering here. And we're going to even grab a Q on uh, Brightwing. Come on. Grab the Q on Brightwing! No. <laughs> so our team was a bit too focused there, uh, finishing out the Brightwing. I actually uh, forgot to mention the talents I've been picking up. I went for Searing Arrows, that increases my attack speed for the next 5 attacks, if I'm not lying. And I also went for the Momentum. Now the Momentum is the talent that actually allows DPS Tyrande to actually support, because your main uh, focus as a DPS Tyrande is actually to land some auto attacks, especially with the Searing Arrow on a Mark target. Uh, Searing Arrows on a Mark target deals some pretty nice burst damage around 3 to 5 seconds, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so with the battle momentum, if you manage to land those auto attacks, you're going to be able to cast your heal much often. And not only your heal, your stun as well. Some pretty valuable abilities that Tyrande has. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a lot of damage. I got taunted. I'm gonna die there. Really unfortunate. They had level 10, so yeah. Things are looking very great for us at the moment. Um, yeah, I think our team just left this for to die. I mean, I would do the same. Uh, a situation like this, you want to send someone to soak for that level 10 because you cannot do anything without the. Uh, Ultimate upgrade. So I'm actually now considering what talents I'm going to go. I actually was really considering to go the mending talent. I think I might have gotten it. I'm not really sure. Uh, but at level 10, I go for Shadowstalk. Uh, 
in my opinion, this is the superior trend dude. I never liked the star fall. Uh, the healing of the Uti isn't that much, but I really like the invisibility that it provides because it can make you so hard to track down in a chaotic fight. The just the, the that little small of advantage really uh, escalates your team fight capabilities of the entire team. I'm going to try to kill this fountain to disallow them to have regeneration so close to the lanes. My team secured that siege camp, so that's pretty nice. Now I feel very threatened here. I'm trying to get my way out of here, maybe join my team. Yep, there is a siege camp still shooting there, so that's pretty cool. Um, do we go? I think that's not, good, not a good idea to engage on Varian at the moment. Okay. Forgive me for yawning here. Um, so I'm trying my best here to stay away from Varian. Uh, actually I got uh, way too deep there, nice save from Oreo. Uh, because I saw that Varian got, got taunt on Muradin and I decided to start uh, doing some damage there, but their team just changed their focus so fast on me. The cooldown ulti going down, we're actually trading pretty well here, but we're still pretty well. Liming dealing tons of damage on the side. Uh, this doesn't look very good for our team, but no one is dead, so that's pretty cool. Now, I actually, I think we go very greedy here and now die, if my memory serves correctly. I think our entire team dies uh, for some reason. I don't know, let's see how this uh, goes. Uh, Varian is uh, shooting a lot of the damage here. Um, no one is actually uh, soaking the tempo. Grammy is going to go. Uh, but generally from what I can see, both tanks are pretty well. So, I don't know, Muradin went too deep there. That was very deep engage from Muradin. He had an ulti there. Uh, but uh, I guess he tried it to bait with that engage. Uh, but I think our team wasn't prepared for him to go ramble like this. And I think this is going to cost us this tempo. Fortunately, Oreo getting now swallowed. I don't think anyone else is going to die besides this guy go down there, yep. Uh, but at the moment, things are going pretty bad for us. Now, Strand TVS, you're considering on your next talent level 13. Uh, there's only one talent that increases your auto attack capabilities and that is the upgrade to the Hunter's Mark. Basically, this talent allows you I mean, not allows you, but gives you 40% increased attack speed when you mark someone. And the mark duration is 4 seconds, so... Uh, you don't mark that often because the mark uh, cooldown is 20, but... Again, it just provides you this burst on the mark that is very, very nice. And I marked Raynor there, and I think I'm going to... Yep, yeah, I'm going to send a now, I missed the owl, but we're going to finish the Raynor. And now I actually managed to see Varian on the back. Nice save from, uh, from Gul'dan there. With his fear to save the Oreo. I'm missing my stuns here. I'm trying to heal whoever is well. Actually, I'm the healthiest, so I should try to do some auto attack damage. I'm not doing anything on the variant, but I have the mark now. I'm going to mark variant. Uh, but our team is very scattered here. Yep. I'm going to heal Gul'dan. I'm going to get the Huntress's Fury. That's how the talent is called. Uh, Brightwing is going pretty well. I'm healing Greyman because I really want him to go balls deep and chase them down. But generally only Varian is well from their team, so that's not very nice. Now our team got alerted that we should be capping this tempo finally. Seems that their team is uh, the one with lower HP, but they're not giving up. Uh, Brightwing is coming here on 4 HP. Varian is a bit low there, but... Uh, Greyman is getting taunted. I'm going to heal Greyman. Very nice turn on uh, Karazim there, but he's going to ult. I'm ulting as well, Brightwing in the crystal. Good I manages to finish Karazim with the health funnel. The drain life thingy. Uh, Graham is a bit low there. Moradin going crumble. Uh, he actually doing pretty well. Uh, they're on the run. I think Rainer, we should focus Rainer on the side, yep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're generally pretty well, so we're a bit scared to go balls deep. Especially with the limbing on the side. Grammy is going to survive for now, but we're generally pretty well now. Gul'dan actually is pretty healthy versus this Varian. Nice ulti from Gul'dan there. 
but now the Limic is going to do a lot of damage. I'm trying to focus this Brightwing because he's been pretty well from a long time now. Have the mark, going to go that mark on the Rainer, I'm going to be able to finish him. Still throwing out some heals there. Um, yeah, they're going to finish out this tempo. So at this point of the game, we stopped losing and we managed to draw the game to a draw. I mean, it's pretty even when it comes to the team fighting at the moment, but we're still losing when it comes down to levels and forts. Actually, the forts are pretty even, uh, but in general, I think uh, they had the majority of the control on the temples. Now, this is uh, level 16, uh, very important talent for Turande. Uh, you can go basically two sides on your auto attack spec. Uh, most of the time, you would consider going for the True Shot Aura. Uh, because it gives that very nice 50% auto attack boost. Uh, not only to you, but to your teammates. By the way, after reading the talent recently, I'm not really sure that it actually gives 50% to you. Because on the talent text, it's, uh, text, it says teammates. I like teammates. I mean, I am a teammate to myself as well, but I'm not really sure. I haven't tested it, but I know from before they tweaked Tyrande that it worked for her as well. Uh, so now we're doing some very interesting trades here. Moradin got cut off there, but he managed to escape with his jump. Gulan is talking for the 16, so that's not that big of a deal, but this guy's going to get taunted. Uh, he's just going to get annihilated. Yeah, that really sucked. Now Gulan is finally coming. But we still don't have that level 16. Oh boy. I marked Variant there, but he's just soaking so much damage. I'm getting bursted down here pretty heavily. He's trying to get some uh, help from the fountain, but generally 4 versus 5, we cannot do much but poke here. Gudan is actually poking pretty well uh, from, for someone that is so DPS with Tyrande. But we really need that level 16 and Grey Man to come back a lot. Now the tempos are actually going up again. So we should be able to contest uh, with Grey Man. I got the True Shot Aura. Now the True Shot Aura uh, uh, doesn't work with everyone in our team. Uh, but it is, it is really a very nice boost to Grey Man. Uh, which can land a lot of nice pistol attacks. It's a very nice boost to Muradin. Uh, and we're just going on this uh, variant there. But I'm getting zoned out by... Karazim and Raynor. I'm actually pretty well. I uh, don't know why Karazim actually decided to stop chasing me because he could have probably finished me there. Maybe he was a bit afraid to go 1 versus 5 there that deep. But in general, we're pretty well. I have my ulti up. I'm just waiting for their team to engage. Uh, yeah, right about now because I saw Muradin going extremely well. Uh, the, the ulti is going to bring us up a bit on the HP, but I think Rainer is going to contest me here. I actually think I go one versus... No, I'm just trying to keep Greymane healthy, but I think I go very offensive on Rainer because I know I can take him one versus one now with my talents. Uh, though Brightwing is on the side here, and Gr Rainer has a bit bigger attack speed than me, so... Um, yeah, that's not going to work uh, for now. Uh-oh, Muradin getting taunted there. A nice crystal from Muriel. Go down a bit low there, but Muradin, Muradin... Woo, he survives. Very nice. Now, Varian is actually pretty well. Very well that Varian, but we just don't have enough to finish him. I'm trying to force a Liming away from there, though I don't have no mana. It's probably best if you all just go back to uh, get our mana and HP back, because things aren't... I mean, things are pretty even, man. <laughs> I mean, we're fighting, they're fighting, and no one seems to be dying. So, both teams are playing very patiently here. Now for next talent, Nexus Frenzy is the thing you want to go, obviously, for an auto attack build. It generally gives you that range and attack speed that Tyrande doesn't have, which is very important. Because with Tyrande you want to be shooting from a bit safer. Now I landed this turn on Varian there and Mark as well, but he just keeps ignoring the damage with his shield talent. And uh, now we're actually... Nice ulti from Gul'dan there. Going to force Varian to not be able to use his ability, so that's a pickup for us. Now we can take this... Tempo quite safely with one man down. Our team is uh, zoning them there for some reason. Actually, I think I should leave Grayman here to uh, clear, clear that himself and actually join my team there, to be honest. I'm not really sure why I stayed here. Maybe I wanted to help him to kill the big uh, minion first so he doesn't take that much damage. 
but in general i think i should have went uh with my team to provide any healing that would be needed and i'm actually uh, walking here with my healing i think i'm not really sure why i'm tapping that much but i think i'm walking at my healing as a dps terrain and it's pretty good to be honest uh i and we're going to see at the end stat if i actually managed to do do some more healing than others but the moment we're contesting this uh, siege camp but Karazim here very strange position of Karazim he's going to get sandwiched from four directions he's going to die I think we actually now decide to go for the boss I think it's a good time for boss Muradin and Greymin are doing some chasing there on the Liming Brightwing is on the top I really see no reason why we shouldn't uh, start the boss here Variant here uh, I'm going to ulti we really need to uh, contest this point I'm going to land stun on and mark on Variant Brightwing though Getting in the middle of all the damage, we managed to secure this camp. Varian in a very strange position there, but he's still pretty tanky. I don't know if we're going to kill him. Yeah, we're going to kill him. And finally decide to go with, uh, the boss because it's 2 versus uh, 2 down, so it's going to be 3 versus 5. So the boss seems pretty easy to take, and especially with my mark, uh, we're going to melt him down pretty easily. I got a uh, bad position there, but that doesn't going to mean that much because they're not going to contest us. And now with the boss we're going to be able to push very deep because a variant has uh, another 30 seconds We are going to push for that layout 20 and we feel very confident here after picking uh, those last few, uh, few team fights a kill or two uh, It's not that much, but it really manages to bring us on the age uh, the experience advantage And now there is this tempo up, but we decide to push with the boss. I get the Nexus frenzy and we're just pushing here. Rainer is uh, trying to push us back with his ultimate. Not going to do that much. I'm actually trying to stay on the Rainer side here. Uh, try to zone him out a bit. Uh, Rainer is shooting me there. Now actually I decide to go on Karazim maybe. Probably going to ulti soon as well when I see Varian. Uh, no really need for to do it now because everyone is pretty healthy. Oreo is providing some heals as well. Boss is going very deep now. I decided to ulti because I saw Greyman. And now another excellent ulti from Godan there. Managing to get the Brightwing. Now they're one healer down. Um, Roydin is going on that variant. Double stun there on the Mink as well. Uh, they're, go they're not going to die, but we're doing tons of damage on the core now. I'm trying to finish this Karazim. Oh, excellent ulti from Uriel. And finish from Uriel. I'm going to die eventually, but I did manage to get their focus on me. And this is going to be game. As you can see, I actually didn't manage to do more healing, but still the healing that I've done was pretty substantial for a DPS Tyrande. Uh, I also want to actually check the damage. Let's see if my past self is going to open this uh, uh, game board. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't, but I think I can rewind a bit to check out uh, the graph. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm just going to give one up to Greyman. And I'm going to cut it here. So here's the picture of the last tab opening that I did. And uh, as you can see here, I did 30k damage. Which is more than Moradin, which is pretty normal. More than Uriel, which is pretty normal. Actually, I didn't do that much damage. I did more than generally the tank and the support. Uh, but I did provide a lot of healing there. As you can see, 60k healing is pretty good. That's... Just 30% less than the main healers. Uh, I did more healing than DPS Karazim. And I did more DPS than DPS Karazim. So that's some pretty important stats there. In my opinion. Uh, so if you're planning to go a double support DPS. And Karazim isn't the best choice. Because they maybe you don't want to go a melee healer into their comb. Then I strongly suggest Tyrande uh, for that situation. Because Tyrande... She, Binks brings quite a good amount of healing. Uh, she provides the single target burst on the front lane targets that are contesting you. And generally are a very nice utility character that can provide damage when it's needed. Especially with this build. So this is going to be everything uh, from me from today guys. Just a very nice random game that I have experienced that I wanted to share. So thank you for watching. And until next time. Stay righteous. Uh, towards their core with avatar but at this point i think i decided to recall especially when i saw that avatar went back as well 
So I think to myself, now that Keltas is back, I think it's better to actually go back. I have the Global Hunt, so I go on Sonya here. I got some damage from ATC, which sucked really bad. I tried to position myself as better.